a state agency that is supposed to keep you safe during national disasters and keep buildings and amusement rides up the code is itself in crisis. This begins tonight. Insiders and former employees reveal mistrust and dishonor behind closed doors at the Department of Homeland Security. And our investigator Sandra Chapman shows us tonight why they say there's a culture of sexual harassment and retaliation for those who dare to tell. 13 investigates found four high-ranking leaders in nearly every division of the Department of Homeland Security facing discipline for sexual harassment or inappropriate behavior. An EMS program director, a public safety training director, a code enforcement chief, and an arson investigation chief. You have the click, the good old boy system. Questionable emails, crude jokes, and inappropriate conversations even suspected retaliation for those who dared to tell. It's just a shame that uh, how it all unfolded. There's things that would happen that would make you go, hmm. Barbara Goebel worked in the fire marshal's office for 17 years, handling firefighter certifications before she retired in March. According to Goebel and several inside sources, a group of women, mostly temps, complained about vulgar conversations from a member of the fire marshal's executive staff. Yeah. We all, we're just waiting for the whole system to implode. 13 investigates confirmed the complaint was against David Smith, the code enforcement section chief. Smith's supervisor, Jim Greeson, the fire marshal. Everybody answers to the state fire marshal. Sources tell 13 investigates the women didn't trust Greeson with their complaint and reported it to Robert Johnson, the assistant fire marshal. Johnson also sent the complaint up the chain to state personnel. They had to take it outside the agency to get something done. Chief David Smith was fired in February for violating the state's workplace harassment prevention policy. The entire DHS staff had to take mandatory sexual harassment training, and there was fallout in the fire marshal's office. Robert Johnson, uh, they just did him wrong. Two weeks after Smith was fired, the assistant fire marshal, who followed the rules and reported the sexual harassment claims, was told his job was eliminated. Everybody's sitting back going, wow. We caught up with Robert Johnson in Bloomington. Uh, I was shocked, uh, shocked, angry, uh, upset. They approached me with, uh, with an issue that, uh, that I thought was very important that needed to be addressed. Had a quick meeting and uh, the marshal said that uh, he would uh, look into it. Um, what Marshal Greeson had did with that complaint, I have no idea. Johnson now believes reporting the complaints cost him his job. I was told that uh, my position was being eliminated, that they were repurposing those funds in my position, so I had 48 hours notice that I no longer had a job. But state personnel records say Johnson resigned. Johnson says he was told it would be easier to get his benefits if he resigned. He says reporting the behavior was the right thing to do. I had to do it over again. I do the same thing. Yet the action taken by the state wasn't enough to curb some behavior. Remember, Dave Smith was fired on February 15th and sexual harassment training mandated. Weeks later, on March 16th, Bob Dean, the chief arson investigator, hit sin on this email. The subject line reads, could not resist. What Chief Dean could not resist was sending this inappropriate photo to the arson unit secretary. He wanted her and others to see a scantily clad large woman next to a suggestive caption. According to DHS, the arson chief was disciplined. He received a letter of reprimand for unprofessional behavior and using state resources for communication unrelated to state business. Compare that to what happened to Barb Goebel. Several years ago, she sent an email to another staffer about inappropriate inter-office relationships and was suspended for 14 days. An administrative law judge reduced it to five-day suspension on appeals. Goebel says there's a double standard at DHS, and she blames Greeson. He controls everything. 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 The governor needs to look at uh, the uh, Department of Homeland Security as a whole because um, I think there are people there that have their uh, own agenda and uh, don't have the, uh, the state of Indiana at heart. Now, both state fire marshal Greeson and the Homeland Security Director Brian Langley declined to speak with us about their agency. Now, insiders say there are great employees there who want to work in a better environment. To date, the assistant fire marshal's position remains empty. Bobby Johnson is now working with another Indiana Fire Department. Angela.